The consortium is a public-private partnership between industry, nonprofits, and government, specifically FDA, focused on developing uh, tools, methods, and approaches to facilitate access to new medical technology for patients. We look at our membership as being one part medical device manufacturer, so large companies, startup companies, medium-sized companies, one part uh, government, so that includes CMS, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid, NIH, um, the FDA, and then another part service providers such as ANSYS um, who, who build the support tools that either the government or the medical device manufacturers use and so all of those organizations come together to identify areas in that pre-competitive space that they can work on to help get medical devices approved and through the FDA faster um, without compromising safety or efficacy. And we view modeling and simulation as being one of those ways that you can show safety and efficacy, um, hopefully in a faster and more robust way than some of the models that we have today through either bench or clinical or animal studies. Right now, products are primarily evaluated uh, in clinical trials when testing on humans. The opportunity to use virtual patients, the opportunity to simulate and model performance of products in a clinical environment will uh, enhance uh, our knowledge about the product, reduce the cost of development, and ultimately speed time to market. There's a number of benefits there. Number one, by doing uh, modeling and simulation and having a better understanding, a better predictor of performance, it's much safer for, pro uh, for patients. Um, it's much uh, more predictable for companies, so ultimately that makes it uh, uh, less risky and more cost effective. The other aspect of that is that uh, modeling and simulation versus clinical trials with patients is much, much cheaper, much, much faster. And so for this industry to continue to innovate, the cost of doing it the traditional way is not sustainable. So a new paradigm has to evolve. In the medical device space, the future is personalized medicine, custom devices. Um, we're in the era of mass customization. Medical devices haven't caught up to that really, not yet. Um, we're doing mass customization in the labs, we're doing it for orphan devices, we're doing it for pediatric populations, but I think that what we'll see in the future is that mass customization or personalized medicine will be the future and modeling will be the only way to do that. This industry needs to evolve, needs to change, needs to use modeling and simulation in a more comprehensive way. And ANSYS uh, understands that vision, has uh, embraced it, and is helping to facilitate moving the industry in this manner by meetings like this, by fostering collaboration, by uh, being a member and supporting the Medical Device Innovation Consortium. All those things I think are important aspects of uh, moving our industry forward, and ANSYS is an important part of that equation.